I saw something. It looks like a first edition Charizard. Are you Can ready see to see one? the grade? Yeah, I, I'm ready. Are, y'all, are you sure. ready? Let's do it. Let's right. see it. Hey everyone, get this video to 5,000 likes and share it on your social media and I'll open up this platinum base set booster box from over 10 years ago this weekend. What up, Heart Squad? I'm here at Beckett Grading Services to look at the results of a grading for a first edition Pokemon card collection, including a first edition Charizard. Let's go inside. Hello, I am with... I am Ian McDerry's with uh, Becca Grady. And this is... Rusty. <laughs> and you brought your collection in to get graded, is that correct? That's correct. Uh, so we have first edition, uh, base set, jungle, and fossil. Yeah. I had some cards that were just kind of... Hadn't, hadn't seen the daylight in a while. And what would you say was the rarest card that Rusty brought in? Uh, definitely his uh, first edition Charizard. A first edition Charizard. Oh, so we yeah. got some big time stuff over here. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping. Hoping <laughs> was, for that too. Wait, wait. Was this sitting in your like closet? Yeah, my, I, my lovely mom had kept uh, a hold of them for a while when I went away for school and all uh -huh. that. And uh, recently got my own place and moved out there and uh, she was like, well, since you have your own place, here's your stuff. And this was part of it. And Open Up was really surprised. Awesome. Well, we got the grades back. Ian, I'll let you take it over and let's see yeah. what he got. Yeah, yeah. Rusty, if you want to pull out the first card, we'll see. Uh, we can go right into it. I think it's so, a blast. Nice. Yes. This is an awesome card. So, um, man. Yeah, we got a first edition uh, base set last. So... I know it's oh, a trainer wow. card, and as kids, we were kind of like, oh, it's not a foil or a Pokemon. But right. nowadays, these trainers, especially in gem mint like this, are fetching a couple hundred dollars. So this is a fantastic card and a great way to start off. And Absolutely. what was the grade on that one? A 9.5? It's, yes, it's a 9.5 gem mint. Is that oh, why it gets the gold label? For, right. For the right. anything above a 9 is a gold? Or? Yes, yeah. Okay. So 9.5s and then 10s uh, that still have a 9.5 on them will have the gold label. And then if you have four 10s, it'll be a black label. Okay. Yeah. So perfect four tens black, and then it goes gold and silver. Right. For I guess kind of overall quality. Yeah. And then I was noticing these these separate kind of. Yeah. Grade. So we we have four subgrades on here. So this is how we determine our grades. So the four subgrades include the centering edges, corners, and surface. So as you can see here, he has uh, two nine fives, uh, one on the centering, one on the edges, and then a perfect ten. Got a on the ten surface. on the surface. Yeah, I remember uh -huh. when I yeah. we pulled this out. I was like, this card is very clean. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we have the nine on the corners. So the the way to achieve a specific grade through Beckett. So in this case, the nine five, you need to have at least three of the subgrades be the the overall grade, so in this right. case, a 9.5. So you have two 9.5s, and then you have the overachiever on the 10, and then you have the one nine. But since, so you're still able to get the gem mint because the other three grades still pull it up overall to that. Right. Um, but if this, if the corners were an actual like 8.5, this would only be able to drop down to a nine because we're only really able to pull it up to, uh, by 0.5. But that's right. generally only, is associated with the centering in the corners. I know the edges and the surface can sometimes change it. It's a little wonky, so uh, for that, I recommend, if you want to look more into it, go to uh, becca.com slash grading, and we explain it more in depth okay. on how the whole uh, overall, how the subgrades affect the overall grade. Okay. So. Great, so great start, Rusty. Yeah, yeah, that's an awesome card. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's we sweet. A, and that, we got a whole box over here. Nice, so we got a another foil, one. first edition Haunter. Oh my goodness. Good, and uh, Gem Mint again. This is a fossil, another surface tint. Yeah, so another really, surface really is, clean card. It's just, I guess, no scuffs, no yeah, dirt, nothing. Yeah, yeah, just basic, I mean, ideally pack fresh. I mean, sometimes cards come out of the pack still, they can be scuffed, but in this case, I mean, this is a flawless card on the surface. That's awesome. I can't believe it, another 10. Yeah. Look at and, that, and there's the back. And there's a number under the 9.5. What is, is that to... Are you oh, you're referring to uh, this number right here? Right. So this is a serial number. So what you can do, um, so you can go online on, right. on Beckett.com, on the grading site, and you can enter the serial number in and it'll pull up 
the stats and everything of this card uh, as far as like the, the grades on it and everything like that. And then you can also go in and look at the population report from there. So you can see how many other Haunter foil first editions from Fossil have been graded in this and then what the other like grades out there look like. Okay. Yeah. Well, keep it up, but that's another nine. Yeah. Nine point five. Look at that. What's next? Oh, okay. nice. This is one of my personal favorites. Zapdos. Yeah. Zapdos. What version of Zapdos is that? Uh, uh, that is, is a, a Shadowless Zapdos. Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain uh, just a quick difference of Shadowless in? So, really, it's it's very similar to the first edition. It just is missing the first edition symbol. Is really the major difference. Uh -huh. uh, but it's still Shadowless, as you can see. Um, we probably went for. If you want to pull out another first edition yeah, here, card that you have, uh, here we go. Yeah, this would be a good one. Yeah. So this electrode. So uh -huh. as you can see, they're very similar. They have the the lighter border all the way around. On g general unlimited cards, they tend uh -huh. to be a little bit darker shaded, um, but it's also missing that first edition symbol. So that's really cool. Good. Yeah, those are great. And they yeah. stopped first editions after. Uh, uh, it was after the the uh, Neo Destiny set, I believe, when they went that? over to the e-reader style cards when Pokemon. For what? Expedi for expedition, like expedition base set? Yeah. Expedition, yeah. expedition base set. Stuff, uh, yeah. 2001, I think. Yeah. Okay. It's a little trivia there. Yep. Great. Yeah, That's so why these have the silver because they aren't, um, I guess, 9 fives. They aren't 9 fives, yes. So these two, and then I think once you get into an 8 or lower, it starts, I believe it's a, like a white label on there okay. instead. It's pretty cool how yeah. you change up the labels like that. Yeah. Yeah. So just a quick glance can tell you all you need to know. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's what see. do we got next? We'll go. We don't know when we're gonna pull that Charizard out. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Another awesome uh, base first edition rare. Oh, first so, edition. Good old Pidgeotto. Nice surface again. Love it. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of uh, yeah, you have a lot of clean surfaces. That's yeah, the great. Clean, yeah, that's really surprising. Yeah. For like yeah, just it's, old collections. That's like that. great. Yeah, it's really just. Uh, yeah, because a lot of the I know it's just hard to grade like older Pokemon cards in general, even out of the pack, because they they always have some sort of whitening or generally yeah. do. So it's that's what makes it so hard to like grade a lot of these. So has the quality awesome. of card stock that they use gone up over time? Would you say compared to the original um, set or when they were first coming out? Because I, I I think it's quality. I, I would was, say they're kind of the same. Some things change. Like some right. things are better, some things are worse. From my experience, at least with them. Um, nothing, it's way different than the Japanese cards, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, because obviously, like, their premium stock, those cards are much easier to grade or tend to be. Yeah. Um, outside of, like, prize cards or anything crazy, like, rare. Um, so, yeah, but overall, I mean, I, mostly, the, it's just those, like, it's always, like, corner stuff always seems to be... It's a, yeah, like, the quality, or, like, printing and stuff, you know, I still see, like, miscuts and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. But the cardboard stock itself, I find it very similar for the English. But as yeah. you said, the Japanese card stock is uh, definitely better yeah, quality. Super premium. All right, what we got next? Well, we were speaking about Charizard, so you can't oh, have Charizard nice. without Charmander. Oh, look oh. at this! This is a sharp Charmander. <laughs> oh my god! Another surface. Yeah. 10. So this is um, a little like term that uh, kind of shows up in the BGS world is uh, so this is a quad plus is what we like to call it sometimes okay. so it means there's four at least nine five grades and then the plus is the ten okay. so you have three nine fives and a ten so quad plus is what the uh, that's, term is but that that is time. awesome that's man. really big wow. time that that is super great I mean what was your favorite starter for both of y'all from the Kanto region <sighs> Charmander, so Squirtle, Bur Bulbasaur. Uh, I like Squirtle, to be honest. Good choice, <laughs> sir. What about you? So I was weird. I started with blue version, but I picked Charmander, so oh. I'm about to go with Charmander, but I... I, I mean, poor Bul were great. Yeah, poor Bulbasaur. Poor Bulbasaur. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what have we got next? Okay, a Pikachu. This Whoa. Is, oh, yeah. Red a cheeks. Red Cheeks one. Nice. That is beautiful. So 8.5, that is a near mint. Yes. Yeah, so that's just that's one of the things I really do like about Beckett is you do give half grades and yeah. decimal points. Mm -hmm. Great. A very nice one. What do we got next? Nidoking. King. Oh, nice. A first ed one. It's got a nine wow. on it. Yeah. That is a straight nine. What about the uh, subgrades on that? Let's see. So is, is that a nine or two nines? A nine five? Is that an eight five or a nine eight five? five? Okay, eight five. So probably got a little bit of... I think that's an underrated card. I, I think like I love colorful. The, yeah, the color right. on it is so awesome. Yeah. So, wow. I'm very... <laughs> 
pleasantly surprised okay. right now. Rusty, what were your expectations for your cards? Like, <laughs> are you surprised so far? Yeah, I'm surprised they're grading so high. Uh, I, I kept them in a, they were in a binder, yeah, so I, I mean, figured they were protected. Yeah, I for a long time. Yeah. I just, I, that's another question. How would you suggest if someone was going to start, like, collecting these, or if they wanted to get them graded and they just open a pack, what should they do to so protect them? So, me, or? personally, when I, just in my own collection and from what I see with a lot of people, uh, penny sleeves are the way to go uh, when you first pull it. Right. Always penny sleeve. I don't really like the heart or the, I guess the tight sleeves that you play for actual like playing with trading cards, just because you want something that like can secure it, but doesn't have a chance of like really hitting the edges or the corners and like accidentally like giving it some whitening. Right. Um, and then depends on if you're immediately going to send it out. I mean, if you are top loader or semi rigid is the best way to go. Um, otherwise, yeah, just sleeve it and then put it in a binder and. Ideally, touch it as minimal, minimal as, as possible. possible. Yeah, um, that's really the best bet, and keeping it in the way you want it or in good condition as for so long. Um, yeah, that's generally what I recommend doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like I mean, you've had yours in a binder for t almost twenty years, I would think. Yeah, you came, yeah. came in about and a month yeah, ago. Yeah, they're doing so, yeah. so well so far. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got a stack. Uh, I do have a Oh, yeah, you just pull them Let's see them. Let's see them. Okay, well, we'll put we'll the first oh, one. Nice, this is another good one. Electabuzz. Gem Mint. First Ed. First Edition 9.5. That's a great one. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. Yeah, e even these, uh, like like I mentioned with the last, like even base set First Edition rares, like even if they aren't foil, they are still pulling in some decent amount of like money out yeah. there. So it's it's awesome to see these um, do so well for you, man. This is great. This is great. Do you know the difference in print run sizes versus first edition base set, I guess Shadowless versus I guess the others? Uh, no, I, I honestly, I don't know if that information is actually out there or not. Like how many first edition right. cards are so out there. I know they keep I print run and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, kind of. that, not, not like how Alpha Magic is or anything right. like that. It's, I don't think that was really documented. It was a little bit later on into trading cards. So I think right. more companies were, well, I mean, it was made by Wizards at, the, at this time. Time, so, um, so I, I don't think they were distributing that in information anymore. Um, other, I mean, if it is, I, I'm not privy to it at this okay. point. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be great to know. Right, right absolutely. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah. So you had a couple of like the base set first edition first trainers, edition so. trainer cards. Yeah. Speaking I mean, of, even then, all of these. Look at these. I believe these Still are two rare lines. cards. Yeah. I'll, is that a rare? I think this is a rare as well. Oh, yeah, it is. Scoop up. Yeah. All three. Yeah. Identify the rares by the star at the bottom, right? Yep. Yeah. And, uh, Square is uncommon and circle is common. Uh, I think it's a diamond. Diamond is diamond. uncommon yeah. and circle yeah. is common. But look at that. Three nines. Yeah. Very nice. That one, that's a really uh, pretty strong nine. I like that with the 10. And that oh, one wait. too. Yeah, the computer search is good. All right. I saw something. It looks like a first edition Charizard. Are you ready to see one? the grade? I, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, are, you, are you ready? Sure. Let's do it. Let's right. see it. So uh, is this it? I don't know. I, it was on the top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I won't be surprised. Ah! Oh, oh no, it is. is. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh my goodness. So seven five. That's yeah. impressive. I remember when we first came in seeing it. I was yeah. expecting somewhat of around that, and yeah. I'm actually pleasantly happy about that. Yes. What, do you, what do you think? I'm happy. Uh, I, it's graded probably higher than I thought. I thought it would be a little little lower. Just yeah, I think I remember when we were talking about. Yeah, we were hoping. I think the corners are what. Did it in? It was the lowest grade. I think that's in what corners. it was. I'll look at it too. It's been a little bit. Yeah, just the the whitening on the so you got like the whitening on the corners up here and down there. There's a little bit on almost all four. Um, yeah, so I I'd still be happy with anything yeah. like above a seven. I mean, even yeah. especially if that card right there, which yeah. is essentially the holy grailish of English Pokemon cards. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't say off the top of my head as far as like value wise. For it, but ungraded, if they were in decent condition, they were going for like several thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, they were doing really well. And this looks this looks really sharp in the case because it doesn't it does. really look like you have any had any major scratches or anything on the foil. Because I mean, it did have a pretty decent surface grade. Right. So I mean, this, this is surface a, it was eight point five. Nice. Yeah. yeah, this is a really sharp looking card. I mean, especially just to like display or something. No, I, that's that's why I plan plan yeah. to do keep these for a little while. Yeah, man, these are great. Great, yeah. congrats on that. Thanks. Let's see, I think I, we did a, a Charizard, a I think Bulbasaur. We had all three. Or, yeah. Yeah. I think I saw a Venusaur. Venusaur and then uh, Blastoise. Did we do well, not today, the, but. The, the starters as well? I, I can't remember if we I don't know if we did for all. Did while speaking. Here's Blastoise. Yeah, this one. I was Whoa, super was that happy first for this. Blast yeah. No yeah. way! I was very excited for this oh, one for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. 
Mint 9, first edition of Blastoise. Yeah. I'll put the, the, yeah, the three over there, I guess. Yeah, that thing is... Hang on, I'll showcase that one a bit more and I'll show the back too. Cool. There you go. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, and you had a 9.5 on the surface on this card. Yeah, this thing is awesome. Congrats. Good stuff. The, yeah, really good stuff keeps on coming. What do we got next? Oh, oh was this the error one? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is Butterfree, it's a nine. I think it, you all two. Yeah. yeah you had two of them? Hold that okay. Yeah, they yeah. both got nines. So for that, anyone that's not familiar with this card, um, some of the first edition Butterfrees, the, the first ed is uh -huh. actually like a D. If you, can you zoom in, is that good? Yeah, okay. you can see it, there it yeah. is. Wow. It's a pretty neat little error, something to look out for. Does that uh, increase the value? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Oh, wow. Sure. Wait, pretty... you have two of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. two. <laughs> they got the same grade? Yeah. yeah. Did they have the same subgrades? I don't know. I got I got 10 centering, corners 9, surface 10, edges 9. Oh, that one's better. This one had an 8.5 uh, corner as far as subgrades. Well, if you yeah. need to get rid of that one, I yeah. can take it off your hands for you right now. <laughs> See you later. Away. Yeah. <laughs> what else do we got? Uh, okay. We got uh, another oh, Red yeah, Cheeks nice. Pikachu. Oh, this is the Jungle one. Jungle. Jungle. Yeah. So, oh, uh, first edition. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, another first ed one. Look at that. Yeah. This is quite the collection over here. Ooh. Next up. All right, is this our last one? No, we got oh, okay. oh, a little awesome. more. I think there's a oh, whole yeah, other stack one. in here of something. But. Nice. Oh, whoa. This is, this is awesome. First card. edition Fossil Dragonite? Yeah. Did I see two tens on that? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Centering 10, Surface 10. What type of uh, subgrades are the most important, you would say, if any? Or are they all um, equally balanced? So in our other? case, for our actual grading scale, it, it's the centering and the corners are the heaviest weighed. Okay. Because um, those are, de are generally what determine mm -hmm. when you're looking at the overall grade. So I, I think I had mentioned this earlier. So if this corner right here, if it was an 8.5, this would only fall to a 9 grade. Even okay. though he's got two 10s and a 9.5 on it. Yeah. Um, but I, I, if I recall it, if like the surface is a little bit lower, it uh -huh. can still pull it up a whole like one point grade. Okay. Versus the 0.5. Great. Well, um, congrats on that grade. Yeah, that's super sweet. Got a little, that's the final stack, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the final stack. So wow. we're, we're going for Venusaur. Oh yeah, finish out the- uh, First edition Venusaur. Yeah. Yes, sir. We and that came back in 8.5. Near mint. That's good. Closer look at that. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. I mean, just even near finding mint. these cards in like near mint to mint condition. I'm like, actually- It's so hard to do. <laughs> it's these so great. These are great grades so yeah. far. So yeah, and yeah, a lot of your surfaces are just fantastic. That's awesome. Goes perfectly with the other three. Yeah. I think we got like Sorry, what? Mr. King. Five S more? Six left. Six mats. Six, okay. So we'll go with this uh, Charmeleon. Oh, yeah. Nine five. Nice. What did Charmander get? He got a nine, nine five. five. As well, so matching. If only I was if only nine five. Nine five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We'd be talking uh, yeah. crazy yeah. over here. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at that. Yeah. Surface, once again, a 10. Yeah. Uh, good job on that. And we'll go to Nine Tails. You said Nine Tails was it's particularly generally hard to grade. Yeah, I know it has a very low population out there, um, in terms of gems at least. So, and I think it has a lot to do with the centering on it. Normally, um, this one was actually fairly well centered. It had a nine centering, but yeah, generally they are like this. They're pretty like, like wonky. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, sorry, did you get enough? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see a right you. We do have right you. What, what was the score for that one? 7.5. 7.5. Yeah. So, so, so far you only got two 7.5s. Yeah. One of them was, of course, the Charizard, but that's still a gorgeous... Is this uh, the first edition? Yeah, it was the first edition. First edition. Yeah. Yeah, and again, it's really just the corners and edges on these, because your surface grades are at least normally getting in that near mint or higher grade, so it's really nice. Uh, what is this? A Polyrath? Polyrath. First edition, nine. That's a good one, too. Very nice. Yeah, that's a great grade. I think Polyrath First Edition was like the first holographic card that I ever pulled. Really? Nice. My dad got me base set packs way back when for doing uh -huh. well in school. And I think I think this was the first one. Not this exact one, but like yeah. Polyrath was the first one. So. That's cool. Kind of holds a special memory, even though they yeah. reprinted it for Evolutions. Oh yeah, but I mean, the originals are fantastic. Yeah, can't beat that. <laughs> no. What's next, Dragonair? Oh yeah, this card is beautiful. I is that First one. Edition as well? Yeah, oh! Was, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we graded almost all of the first edition rares that he had. Yeah, that's that's a nice card. Very nice. Yeah. And then is this the final one? Yep. Beedrill. Very underrated. I like Beedrill a lot. They, uh... And that came back in uh, near yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Gem Mint. Excuse yeah. me, I thought it was a nine. 
Wow. What were the subs on that one? 10 surface. <laughs> ten wow, surface. and 10 centering, yeah. Edges 9.5. And 9 corners. corners not, yeah, so let's see. Congrats. Yeah, that's, man, that's, that's a sharp card. Yeah, if you want to look at the back of it too. Um, that's a really nice What one. was the center, uh, the edges? 9.5. Uh, oh, yeah. wow. So just a nine on the corners. That's well, congrats. What is, Rusty, what is your favorite card that you got graded today? Probably the Blastoise. Yeah. The Blastoise? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'd have to say that is yeah man that's a sharp look card. at that right there those three maybe the pikachus because uh i think they're coming out with a movie um, yeah the detective pikachu movie. yeah yeah it's, uh, it's a few trailers so i was watching yeah. that and uh, i was thinking huh i got my cards are being graded maybe these yeah. will be come back well but uh yeah i'm, I'm happy overall i'm uh, -huh. uh very surprised glad they graded well yeah, uh, thanks, mom, for keeping up. <laughs> Seriously, oh, wow, that's awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. usually it's like the reverse. It's like the horror story. It's like my mom they, threw my cards away. Or she oh, sold no. them. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. So I'm gonna buy her something real nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks. Yes. But, do, you, uh, do you have any uh, like final questions for Ian? Yeah. Uh, so that right now, this is a perfect way to keep them. And I can just store them anywhere, pretty much. Just keep them away from extreme heat, extreme cold. Yeah, Put yeah. Them like I, a... I recommend keeping them in like bags, or if you. There's also like graded card sleeves out there too, if you right. want to like display them not more, a little bit more nicely. They're a little bit more like fitted on the cards and everything like that. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah, don't like sit them out in the Texas heat or anything crazy. No, no, I don't plan to. <laughs> um, yeah, just regularly air conditioned room is fine. If someone wants to submit them, y'all are located in uh, Dallas, Texas. Yes. Yeah. But if they want to mail them in, they can most oh, yeah. certainly yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask, what was what's kind of like just the Spark Notes process for people, or where should they go if they'd yeah, like to? Yeah, yeah. So uh, the Beckett.com slash grading, you can go on there. We have our submission forms. On the on the forms, they have the address that you have to ship them to. Um, yeah, you just fill out those forms, put whatever cards you have on there, and then ship them in to us. And that's, that's really it. We take care of the rest once we get them. Great. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Rusty. Thank you, Ian. Yeah, thanks for having us. And, uh, thank you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Pleasure, everybody.